Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 15th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as our sun has been pretty excited here at Solar Cycle 25, X Class Solar Flare. And as well, a large plasma filament swirling around the pole of our sun. You can see that dancing back into the surface. Having a look here at the last two days of imagery. Incoming, this is the sunspot region that produced the X 4.5 solar flare. Look at it there. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Big plasma filament swirling around the last few images waiting for a plasma filament eruption. Looking at outgoing imagery here, this was pretty active too. You can see that very large sunspot region going into a frenzy on the way out. And then the antipodal region right across the sun producing an X-class solar flare. Having a look at multi-spectrum pointing out the last two days of events. And as well pointing out the coronal holes which are now turning away. And that helped increase our solar winds upwards and over 400 and or sorry, 500 kilometers per second. No new coronal hole regions for Earth-facing view. Having a look at 171 angstroms here. Amazing images at our very active sun. Long duration X-class solar flare. Multiple sunspot regions. And right now, we have four that are Earth-facing. 3825 is the culprit. For the x class and watch for some more action most likely from that region and as well possibly the equatorial region right there that is earth facing now this is our sunspots in motion space weather conditions currently there are none to speak of after being up and over kp7 the last couple days 437 kilometers per second our solar winds are smashing our planet at Solar X-ray flux, as you can see here, large X-class, calming down into the low C range now. Solar proton flux slightly elevated. Geomagnetic activity was at a 6 yesterday, and it's pretty stagnant with a 4 right now. KP index of 4. Having a look here at the Space Weather Prediction Center, Space Weather Spiral, we are expecting... This coronal mass ejection, September 16th into the 17th. Having a look here at the spiral, little green circle is Earth. And there's that large CME impacting our planet on the 16th and into the 17th. And then the void after that. And who knows what else after that. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, showing the same thing, large CME from the incoming and Earth-facing direction, but it was in a southward fashion, so we could see geomagnetic instability, northern lights, solar storms, but we may not also. Having a look here, Alaska 3, the broad spectrum, showing the last two days of events, multiple coronal mass ejections, X-class solar flare, Amongst the five sunspot regions, slowing down these large CMEs. Amazing images. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you're enjoying all of this information shared here with daily events worldwide. There is our most recent Earth-facing flare. Coronal mass ejection on its way. Expected arrival tomorrow night. Now let's get to earthquakes here as we've had some deep earthquakes in the Fiji region. Starting out with 516, 516 kilometer depth today as well as 487, 536. But yesterday there was a uh, 616 kilometer depth earthquake. Same region, Lavuka, Fiji, 4.1. Expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow folks. Stay tuned, stay aware and prepared. Most recent activity here, Castle Point, New Zealand, northeast coast region, 4.6 magnitude. Largest the last 24 hours, 5.5 here, Bontang, Indonesia. 
and as well a 5.0 magnitude earthquake here in Indonesia, western Indonesia, close to Krakatoa. 4.4 here, Hirara, Japan. And as well, Torai, Japan, 4.6, Huma, Tonga, 4.3, 5.0 magnitude earthquake here, Adak, Alaska. And as well, a 4.3, Tatitlik, Tatitlik, Alaska, 4.3 magnitude. But interesting, all the depths around the North Pacific right now, and as well, the earthquake swarm that's occurring at Hawaii. Having a look at USGS, they're reporting 356 earthquakes the last 24 hours. 179 of them have been on the Big Island. So definitely a small earthquake swarm is occurring and in progress. Having a look here at all of the epicenters for these minor earthquakes. Same region as the last couple swarms waiting for a big volcanic eruption. Southeast Rift, Kilauea. So heads up, my friends and family, across across the Big Island and as well across the United States. Having a look here, minor seismicity, Califon, New Jersey, as well, Nyota, Tennessee, reporting a 2.3. And then looking across the West Coast, nothing major to report, no major swarms through California. The pressure is being released in Hawaii right now. But there's also a lot of pressure coming into the subduction zone of Vancouver and Washington Pacific Northwest, seeing a very large seismic event. Look at all of these tremors that are being reported, almost 12,000 in the past 30 days across the West Coast, right up into Vancouver and Victoria. 11,828 epicenters. Subduction zone is on fire right now, friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to daily events as it will keep you updated. A lot of pressure across the ring of fire right now, and it's mostly north and central at Hawaii and then through the west coast. Carrying on here, 5.2 there, El Salvador, as well a 4.8 earthquake here, Argentina. 4.5 earthquake, Peru as well. Kind of the same depth as those Northwest Pacific earthquakes. And then quiet, Indian plate, right to African plate, nothing to report. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for Shakers around the world. Take a quick moment to thank you for watching and thank you for all the love and support to the channel, to the videos, and all of the information shared here keeping humanity aware and prepared. The last seven days for earthquakes, largest being the 6.4, Papua New Guinea, deepest being 616 kilometer depth, Tonga region. Heads up, next 24 hours, we could see something big, especially across the North Pacific. Now let's have a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by the active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Pretty large plumes coming out of eastern Russia, Kamchatka, and as well a large plume coming from central Mexico at Popopoketitol. There's still lots of SO2 wrapped up in the northern hemisphere from the eruption in Iceland, but there's also notable SO2 in the southern hemisphere right now. Still not sure where all of it could be coming from. Looking across Southeast Asia and Africa and Australia. No new air quality masses to report. But look at the Southern Hemisphere. This is what it looked like a couple days ago. It's a lot of sulfur dioxide. South America, a lot of wildfires that are burning there. But look through the Caribbean islands as well. Jamaica, very notable sulfur dioxide emissions. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by Windy.com. We do have a tropical system grinding up the eastern seaboard, blocked by a huge high-pressure ridge over eastern Canada, a very warm high-pressure ridge. That's going to keep things at bay. And then big low-pressure system here developing for uh, north and central United States, and as well the Canadian prairies, a big low there. 
Could see some extreme weather breaking out, especially through Manitoba, northern Ontario, overlooking Africa and Europe. Big low pressure system heading towards Iceland. Another one following. Low pressure system here grinding through the Mediterranean, bring some extreme weather and moisture to Italy and surrounding areas. Watching the long range forecast here as North Atlantic Tropical System heads for Ireland in the long range. Looks like it will be making landfall in the long range, 24th and 25th. So keep an eye on that for the long range forecast. Other than that, no major typhoons, hurricanes, or cyclones forecast here, but some very strong and snowy systems that are developing across the northern hemisphere right now as our polar vortex is getting ready to set up. Let's have a look at our southern hemisphere first. Have a look here, very tightly whipped polar vortex. Upper level winds coming in in some areas, 400 kilometers per hour quick glance around the rest of the world equatorial regions and then we'll go versus the northern hemisphere as we're waiting for the swirl to start the polar vortex to usher in winter 2024 and we've got a small spiral going already folks winds are picking up and the winds are a changing much love, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the show. If you did, don't forget, give a thumbs up and a share. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.